Alright, everyone. So, with every Resident Evil game, we are going to be entering a lab. Typical cat. From Chief Researcher Brandon's Journal Number 1, 1866. December 4th, Mr. Spencer once spoke of a flower called the Stairway to the Sun. Supposedly, this flower would give the person who consumed it incredible abilities. Everyone thought it was no nothing more than a rumor or legend that Mr. Spencer was telling us, but later research would prove us wrong. The first person to recognize the validity of that story was my teacher, Dr. James Marcus. He hypothesized that a virus, hereto unknown, might exist that could alter DNA. The man was so... perspicuous? His hypothesis turned out to be correct. <laughs> The virus discovered that the flower was labeled Prognitor. Prognitor? Dude. <laughs> For three months in Africa, we worked digitally, um, fed it over results, and staved off attacks from the Depaya. After such time, our efforts were finally rewarded. Even Dr. Marcus, who until yesterday looked exhausted, was in good spirits. He wants to return home as soon as possible to delve deeper into his research. I feel the same. I want to learn the secrets of this Prognitor virus as soon as possible. 1967, February 12th. We've hit the metaphorical brick wall. He brought the flower back from Africa and attempted to cultivate it there. I'm um, here. The initial culture samples of the Prognitor virus have not shown DNA altering characteristics. Um, we cultivated the flower to mass produce the Prognitor virus. At first, everything was everything proceeded smoothly. The plants were strong and grew quickly. In a short amount of time, they flowered. But here is when a major problem surfaced. The flowers did not contain the prognator virus. Perhaps the environment in which they're grown triggers the development of the virus. This matter must be investigated further. March 23rd. We've made no progress. We've tried cultivating the flower under different conditions, but with no luck in triggering development of the virus itself. Thus far, we have tried changing the soil, water, temperature, and light exposure, all with no success. I got into a heated debate with Dr. Marcus about the direction this research was taking. During that debate, Mr. Spencer interjected some foolhardy notion of starting a company. Without the problem with the virus, there's no point in starting a company. Does he not see that? It's all pointless. Mm. Alright, let's go inside. Got that right? Power on. These are old ass computers. Richard Center, um, Director Brandon's Journal, 1998, November 16th. We're closed down. The, we've closed down the research center. It's strange, but I don't really care. I'm indifferent to the whole thing. I feel the same way as when I heard that the Arkley facility and Raccoon City were destroyed. When did I become so apathetic? I spent every waking moment researching and extracting the prognator virus. Everything I did was for Dr. Marcus. Actually, when I think about it, I probably stopped caring the day I heard um, he had died all those years ago. I didn't feel anger, angry or happy or even shocked. I felt nothing at all. It was as if all of my emotions just shut down. I just kept sending out samples of the prognator virus to all of Umbrella's laboratories. I was just an automated machine reporting to Umbrella headquarters every time... One of my subordinates made a breakthrough or discovered something new. I was like a zombie, ambling through life. No thoughts, no feelings. And now the research center where I've spent half my life is closed. I really don't care one way or another. It's probably all for the best. Perhaps it is too late to have any semblance of a life again. Just an old computer. Can't tell if it's broken or if there's no power. Take it! Roger! Okay. That was a liquor. That was... Ooh, 100% a liquor. Ooh, I kind of want... Uh, exchange with Flash. I owe you one. 
And let's pick that up. Okay. I don't know how, but they could be using them to produce biological weapons. This hmm. is the facility from the picture. No doubt about it. We finally <laughs> I could destroy him. Wait, what does it say? I think I've seen enough of these flowers. Yeah, let's destroy it. There we go. Tricell Research, Miguel's Journal number one, February 19th. When I heard it was THE laboratory used by Umbrella in Africa, my expectations were raised, to say the least. But when I saw it, well, it's a lab in name only. I don't know how Umbrella ever used it, and Lord knows how Tricell could possibly have any use for it. The place was abandoned long ago, so there's nothing there of any value to us. Not one piece of lab equipment reigns, at least nothing that still works. I can't say I'm surprised because I half expected this. Anyway, the important thing is the prognotic virus. If we didn't need that virus for our research, there would have been no need to come with this to come to this rundown umbrella facility anyway. We already have samples of the T-Virus and the G-Virus, the T-Veronica virus, and even the Las Plagas parasite. We have everything we need for our research. We just didn't have that damned prognitor virus, but we finally got our hands on it. Hopefully this will give us that much needed breakthrough in our research. I can't wait to start working on it. March 7th, I wonder who came up with the name Liquor for those creatures. I mean, when you see its long tongue, you just know that it's the perfect name. <laughs> But for researchers like me, bows, like liquors, are just a pain in the ass. If I said liquors were too perfect, I'd probably be going too far in my praise. But they're pretty much an evolutionary dead end. There's no room left for improvement. Bows that were created using the T-virus don't seem to show much improvement when the prognotor virus is administered. I mean, their ability shows some slight improvements. For example, their sense of smell seems more or less improved. <sighs> Did liquors get better? But that's all we've got so far. They're still blind, as an old lady, and they're ugly as shit. The biggest jump in their evolution seems to be their ability to reproduce. Uh oh. I hate when things don't go according to plan, but since there's still a, dam a demand for liquors on the bow market, I guess things aren't all that bad. They're good at reproducing. Okay. An email to an acquaintance. Hey, I know this is sudden, but I'm going to be getting some time off soon. We've completed most of our work on the new project. Sorry, you know, I can't talk about work. So they're giving us some time off as a reward for all our hard work. All the staff are leaving tomorrow and will finally be getting out of this country. I'm heading straight back to Arizona, and I can't wait to get home and see everyone. More than that, I think I'll just be happy to get away from the high and mighty Miggle. Guy thinks he's some sort of super genius. Miggle's a guy that sits next to me at work and he's a good researcher and all, don't get me wrong. He's got some good ideas and is good at noticing details, but every time he opens his mouth, he just goes on and on about how great he is. You can't even begin to imagine what torture it is to hear that day in and day out. I wish we made a sedative <laughs> I could give him. But forget it all. Oh, whoops. But forget all that. What matters is that I should be back home within the next few days. When I get back, I'll give you a call. We gotta go out and get smashed. I can use the break. Talk to you soon. Ryan. Man, these people have normal lives. Oh, that's not good. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Looks like it was torn apart by animals. Not a, a good way to go. No. <gasps> Freaking liquor. I feel like I need to get my uh Careful. 
I saw something. Really? <laughs> Did you now? <gasps> oh, the goat and shit. And rats? Hi, how do I free you? Investigate. Some lab animals. How long have they been locked up? Aww, how do we free them? Oh, it's so sad! A cage for the lab animals, both research, I suppose. Oh, this makes me really sad. Aww. Oh shit! What? What happened to you? Get closer, get closer. Oh! You had a- He had a gym? Okay. You take you that. Ooh. An AK um seventy four. Ooh. Uh I owe you one. Yep. Maybe you should have this, actually. You take it. Give me the eggs. Use this. Have fun with that. They just left gold bars? So this is the monitor room. All the monitors are offline, though. Hmm... Thank God there weren't more of them. Yeah, we wouldn't last in a fight with a whole horde. We're not out of here yet. Why'd you say that? <gasps> you guys are dumb. This is why I like Leon and Claire more. You guys are stupid. <sighs> so we're so lucky there aren't more of them. I don't think they'll notice us. I guess their senses are weak. Just to be safe, we should be as quiet as possible. I'm trying. You need to stop talking. Oh my god. You're gonna kick that open, aren't you? Damn it! Run! Oh, it's a fucking time bullshit. Come on! Come on! Oh. Wait, I want to get these boxes. 
Okay, maybe it's not worth it. Never mind. Not worth it. Not worth it. Changed my mind. Uh... Okay, you're almost out of here. Hand grenade. This is definitely a boss fight. Take it. Roger. You grab it. Roger. You can't take the machine gun ammo? Oh, you're full. Shit. Okay, well, that's gonna have to do. Summoned her. Mm, that's not Jill. <laughs> what I have they done? I don't remember. There's something I've lost here. What does it look like? I don't know. Jill? Is it? Is that Jill? She looks blonde. Why'd she look blonde? That's imposter Jill, if I ever saw one. There's so many. They must be kidnapping people from all over the world to experiment on. That's why. I wasn't ready for that. Okay, okay. This thing. Oh my god. It's just a thing. I got the use of it. Run, run, run. He's down. Now's our chance. I'm trying. Eat this. Toss in. <laughs> it's working. He's down. It's working. Oh, that gets me every time. Oh! 
get up, get up, get up. Just die already. Yay! That was super easy. Why was that so easy? I knew the lore, but. Oh, is it dead? Is this Jill? It's not Jill. She's underneath the damn cloak. How nice to finally make your acquaintance. Who the hell are She's you? She's the assassin. So like you. She works with Tricer. Nice. You've done your homework. An officer in the Global Pharmaceutical Consortium. Why? <laughs> As if I need to explain myself to you. Although, weren't you two given orders to retreat? So it was you. <laughs> Where is Jill? Jill, even if I did know, you think I would tell you? Cut the crap! Tell me where she is! As soon as you two are done with your little vigilante mission, you should leave. There's nothing here worth throwing your life away for. She's lying. She knows something. It's time we get some answers. My uh, accuracy was 82%. Nice. So this was the facility Excella was talking about. She's mm. got us under surveillance. I can almost guarantee she sent that VOW to eliminate us. You can ask her about that and about Jill once we find her. All right, let's find her then. Yep. What'd you pick up? Just regular ammo? Okay. Oh, Jesus. They have guns. Great. Also, I need to reload. Take cover? Oh. Thanks, I guess.
Oh shit. Not me sucking at shooting. Oh shit, you're so loud. Nothing in there? Oh. <laughs> what? Okay, I got him. Okay, he didn't drop anything. Okay. Wait, my camera keeps, uh... Not focusing on me. Why are you doing that? There we go. I got it. Sorry. Magnum ammo. Oh, I see. Was it always, did, was it, did it always say magnum ammo? I just never noticed. Ah. Oh, get out of... Oh my god, dude. I can't get out. I can't get out. Dude, oh my god, I hate myself. <laughs> I just kept missing. Where are you aiming, Chris? What are you shooting at? Oh. Okay. Let's go up. Okay. Hmm. What? 
Shit, Wesker. I yep. thought he was dead. He is not. Oh, it is magnum ammo. I don't need magnum ammo. I want this instead. <gasps> oh, no, no, no. We don't want it. We don't want it. Nope, nope, nope. We run. I don't want any of this. Ooh. Go, go, go. That was a lot of liquors. What the hell was that? Oh. God, dude. I don't know what that was. You are watching off to our side, right? Okay. I hate that. I really don't like that. Oh. Come on. Okay. Thanks. Oh, you got it. Nice. Um, up and over? people but I just don't oh reload how do 
we get up there? Or do I just go on this? Oh. Looks like we have to go this way. I see. Oh god, so dangerous. Oh, jeez. Good now. Wait, I wanted to pick some of that up. Okay, that's fine. Come here. Come on. Okay. Thanks, partner. Oh. <laughs> what is this? Regarding the mutant organism found in the facilities. May 6th, the fire broke out during the test for loading. Ouroboros virus onto the missiles. This required a temporary level 4 BL4 quarantine for the immediate area. May 11th. It's been five days since the area was put under quarantine. There have been reports of an animal undergoing a strange and rapid mutation. Eyewitness accounts indicate the creature possesses a very hard epidermis. No viral cysts related to Ouroboros have been reported, however. I speculate that we are dealing with something that has been influenced by the Ouroboros virus a rare occurrence to be sure perhaps tomorrow i will put together an investigation team to procure a sample specimen may 12th i sent a lightly armed team to investigate the sightings of the strange creature unfortunately their team had to be deployed to retrieve the corpses for the first of the first team which had been dismembered by something extremely sharp there were also multiple stab wounds that appeared to be made by a giant spear Trace amounts of a peculiar chemical substance were detected on the eyes of some of the corpses. What kind of mutant organism we are dealing with is still unknown at this time, according to the initial investigation. We could be dealing with a new type of bow. Based on the creature's style of attack, I have condemned it Reaper. For the time being. Of course, more data on this creature is still required before your thorough analysis can be submitted. Take it. Okay. We can have that. Great. Love that for me. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, the power is out. Okay. I saw that wiggle. Ewe. Take it. Okay. Missiles. Hmm. Why would they need these, do you think? Maybe they're planning to start a war. You grab it. Okay. Wait, where am I going? Um, over here. Gotcha. There's one. What was that? Where? Great. I hear something squishy. Ah, oh, it was one of these things, wasn't it? Oh no. Nope. Ew. No, 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 no. What manner of beast is that? Nope, nope, nope. Stone. Okay, well, let's get out of here. from the research facility. Yeah. He burned. Okay. Oh, it's getting me a lot of you grab it. Okay. ammo and stuff. Flame rounds. Ooh. Hmm. What's through that door?
Sheva. Uh oh. Well, glad you could make it. Up here, you two. Marcella, where's Jill? Jill, Jill, Jill. You're like a broken record, you know that? Just as single minded as he said. You've spent so long trying to track down Ouroboros. Well, here, enjoy. Uh oh. Uh oh. So Uruburus is a new DLW. And you're planning on selling it to terrorists? Mm, good guess, but no. While it does resemble the BOW based on the progenitor virus, I have no intention of selling it to terrorists. Then what are you using it for? Evolution? What are you talking about? Oh, you'll find us soon enough. Everyone will. Mm, too bad. Looks like he wasn't worthy. Only the chosen ones are fit for the coming new world. Over. Oh god. That's the soldier oh. of the bio weapon wiped out Alpha Team. Yes, but this one seems much more ferocious. That's it! Ha! Weak spot! Weak spot, eh? Nope, nope. Knock it over faster. Where's it going? Where's it going? Also, where's that flamethrower? Right here. Pick up. It's up to you. Burn that son of a bitch. Okay. Over here. Come here. Got it. 
Ooh. Pick up. Oh god, oh god. Good, that's not good. I saw a herb. Oh my god. I have been fighting that boss for 35 minutes. 43 minutes! I think it was like 30 minutes though, because it's counting this whole chapter. 43 minutes. I'm over it, dude. I'm ending this episode here. <laughs> Research facility. What's all this nonsense? Look at my health. Evolution and being worthy. What does she mean? Something about a philosopher's stone and selecting DNA. Doesn't matter what she says, she's just a terrorist. End of story. You can't risk Uroboros getting out of here and infecting people. Then let's go take care of business. Dude, you can't even see my health anymore. I need health so bad, dude. That was like one of the worst bosses I've ever fought in my life, if I'm being honest. Oh, am I going that way? Shit. Shit, man. Health? Health? Anywhere? Sapphire. Whatever. I'll take it. You grab it. Roger. Um, read document. Directions for use of your rose virus. Attention! This instruction manual contains important information concerning the proper handling and use of the Uroboros virus. Use the virus for anything outside the uses listed in this manual could result in the expiration of the handler. 
Use the device for anything outside the uses listed in this manual. It could result in the expiration of those within the handler's vicinity. Administration of the virus to a test subject usually results in dissolution. So carefully select your test subjects. When using this virus, please follow the instructions in this manual carefully. Virus dosage is proportionate to the test subject's weight. Please use the following chart. Interesting. After injection of the virus, a test subject may experience some or all of the following symptoms. Sweating, labored breathing, delirium, and slash or confusion. After being administered, the virus will recognize and adapt to the subject's DNA. During that time, the virus will enter a state of dormancy. When it, w when it is unsuccessful in adapting to the subject's DNA, it will begin to assume organic matter from its immediate environment in order to fuel its growth. In the immediate area around, it, around an unsuccessful adaptation is extremely volatile. Researcher, researchers should be advised to evacuate the vicinity of the test subjects corpse or incinerate it to prevent its spread. The virus will transform the cells outside the test subject's body into black leech-like postals, then expel them through the skin surface, consuming the subject completely. This creature displays only primitive intelligence and will only research for and prey upon organic matter to fuel its growth. Individually, these postals are not a threat, not as a collective they become um, dangerous to other living organisms and will try to feed on them. Please take extreme caution when handling the virus. If the virus is adapted to the test subject's DNA, you are required to report it to the proper section immediately. In the case of rejection of the subject's DNA, or if there are complications disposing of the corpse, please contact the section listed on the uh, attached paper. You will then be instructed on how to deal with your situation. Ah. I could use some health. Take it. Okay. You can have that. Okay. Oh man. Saving. And that, my folks, is where we'll end this episode. I'll see you in the next one.